so we're in Iceland. We've actually been here for almost a week already, which feels a bit weird. Um, been quarantining because I'm not fully vaccinated. So we've been sat in this lovely little cabin for the last week, working, doing some edits, working out, doing yoga, just sort of spending our time relaxing a little bit before we get stuck into the madness. We've got about three weeks left. Yes. And we've got some mad stuff planned. There's going to be a lot of video content. Today we're meeting our friend Nicholas. We've got a nice big defender we're going out in, heading out to the Highlands, and it's going to be epic. So stay tuned. It's going to be a good couple of videos. So, first up, um, we're at Haifas. We've got Big Bad Boy Isaac. Nicholas picked it up earlier. It's half past nine, we've been up all day long. We're gonna go hit some waterfalls, move into the highlands, do some awesome stuff today. Stoked to get started. This is Nicholas. This is me. Uh, we'll get started and see. Damn See what happens. Yeah. I love how it's so Yeah, it is sick, isn't it? So for a bit more of an intro, we're here for a few days with Nicholas. We've got this awesome massive Defender from Isaac, which is like a goal car to have in Iceland. So cool. We don't really have plans yet. We're just going to go with the flow. And that's really the basis for the whole trip is just seeing what we want to do, what the weather's like and where we end up. Our only real goal is to not do stuff we've really done before. We want to try and just do something a bit differently. I know I've been to Highfoss before, but it's sort of on the way to where we're going and it's nice to break the ice and get shooting straight away. So one thing that's great about Iceland is that all the water is drinkable. So like to fill up your water, you just fill it from a stream or wherever you want. That's so fresh. Ten past midnight. And about as dark as it gets. Yeah, can't believe it. Epic first little shoot, on to the next location. Heading into the highlands of Marsland Woo. with my friends in my car. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on the edge of the highlands and it's time to take some air out of these massive tyres so that when we're going over some of the difficult terrain a little bit smoother. And that's the noise you can hear now. Or was it the valve? That was the... The flop. Which bit was it? You could have got... I mean, you could fly like five meters. How big is it? Um, Tiny little valve. Yeah. I didn't think that was going to happen. I, I really didn't. I just looked down and it was there. I was like, what the fuck? Brief into him there as he's <laughs> taking the cap off this, which holds the air in the tyre. And it 
hot and just vanished. And we spent a good 15 minutes scouring this. It was here, Jack, in this bit. And then Sarah's just found the cap, so <laughs> the tire's not going flat. <laughs> what, <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> now to carefully resume taking the rest of the air out the tires. I can't believe I found that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely knackered. Currently 20 past five in the morning. Still haven't slept. I've been driving, continuing on our journey, and finally setting up our tents. What a great first day out. Very, very pleased. We've done High Foss, incredible waterfall, and then driven to the top of a volcanic crater. And now we're in the Highlands, setting up camp, and watching the sunrise behind me, which feels very odd. So that's the last of it, all ready to sleep. Looking forward to this a lot.
think it got a bit low battery and a bit windy. So I had to land it up here. I'll have to carry it down. Let's go. Yeah, I've got the drone, so I'm gonna come back down now. Okay, no worries, yeah. So we're here at La Manalurga, which is a very volcanic area in the highlands. Some really incredible colours in the sand and the rock here. And I'm just going to make some lunch and then we're going to get out on a hike. This huge wall you can see behind me here is a huge lava flow. It's like probably a couple of acres of just lava flow, which we'll get some views of later on. And I think we're going to hike up this one here, which I think is called Blatnakur. And then we're going to do a bit of a loop through there, back through the lava field. Very, very cool area. There's also some hot springs over here. And of those two river crossings we just did to get in, the first river is cold, the second one is hot, because the water comes straight out of the earth, warmed by the geothermal rocks and heat underneath. Very, very cool place. Stoked on today. Two on each. Yeah. That Jimny just sent it across the river. Tiny but mighty. <laughs> I said, it said tiny but mighty. It's like your slogan. He said it's definitely mine. <laughs> huh? One thing you're going to notice throughout this whole hike the colour of the rock and sand. It's now super bluey green, which is very grey, down there's very orange, just changes every few steps. This is so green right now. These are the massive lava fields. All of this. Final push up to the summit now. So cool. Such a unique place, it's unlike anywhere else. Slippy here. This is well slippy. <laughs> oh no, momentum is building. Yep. Whoa. 
This is so treacherous. You okay? Did it. Made it down that horrible hill. Very dusty. Very dusty and muddy now. And that gravel bank, which is really difficult to grip on. I'm being smart about this. Skinner sock saving the day. That's why I bought these. Ah, it's so cold. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Ready? Three, two, one. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's so cold. Wow, that's warm. That's so freaky. That water must be about like 30 degrees. And that is snow melt and must be about five degrees. Surreal. And just here they meet. Oh, hey. That's nice. Slight change of plan as we've got some drone problems. The gimbal's just going crazy. So no drone flight for us here. <laughs> We're just gonna head back, have some dinner. I'll try and recal recalibrate it and see what happens. Dinner over, we're gonna have a quick swim. It's gonna be nice in the hot springs, get warm, get clean, and then back on the road again for another few hours of nighttime adventuring. It's about 10 pm now, we're really just getting started, we've still got hours left. Drone update is, I think it's broken, possibly running down that hill earlier. So we're going to try and make do for the next day and then probably have to purchase a new one which is going to be expensive but you can't be here and not on the drone can you? Right, swim plan. It 
is not hot. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like lush, isn't it? Okay. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah. That's so hot. So hot. <laughs> I want that. I want that. Where is it? Where is it?